Welcome, everybody, and I'm Edvin24, and today I'm going to be reviewing and giving my live reactions to Promise Part 1. Um, I wanted to do this video earlier. I actually got this back uh, a few months ago, but um, my camera broke. So I'm giving a live reaction and read to Part 1 uh, in a few days, do Part 2, and when my letter comes in for part three, I'll do that also. So, my reaction, here I go. Nice art. Um, if you can't see my face, I'm sorry, but as you can see, I was part one, so I'm doing my live reaction. I'm actually recording it off the tablet, so um, I apologize for the quality. It's a little bad. All right, then, so here we go. Um, Art style is pretty good. Um, and that's just the Paku. So I don't really understand why they didn't they change the art style from Sid to um, Toph for this book anyway. I mean, we all know it's supposed to be Toph, but um, Azula and what I perceive to be she, um, a 15 year old Aang. Well, he's actually 13, I think, in this book, but he looks like he's 15, so. Okay, um. Four Nations, Fire Nation, Oh, Worker, um, Iceberg, um, Air Scooter. Yeah, um, so, um, Aang is talking with the Earth King, uh, Boss goes in here, Momo, and everyone pretty much is at Suki. Um, Earth King is here, Zuko, and Wow, that's pretty early to make a scene. Um, yeah, talking so um, <laughs> just I'm not gonna say you're outside. Um, uh, yeah, festival, out the flying. Hawk never seems to so amazing. Screaming in the top of the ears. Fireworks. You should really read this if you haven't. Um, it's really good. I've read this one. I actually bought this in part two um, simultaneously and read them both. Um, pretty good. Um, Zuko is getting serious. Promising to kill him if he gets too um, crazy. Um, do a fascination attempt on, on Zuko. Fire Lord Man, that's a girl. He just happened to um, win UD now. Um, escorting her to um, peace out to her, her father. Um, yeah. Peace. Um, I don't know, we got Ozo. You see, one of the things I never understood in the first series is why is Ozai still alive? Um, I mean, it, it works for um, the um, Ursa and the Ursa mystery and for this book, but um, if they didn't make this book, I don't see why um, Ozai needs to be alive. Um, so, going back to that, um, yeah, that's awesome. Talking about Ozai. Um, I'm surprised Uncle Iroh is not in like either of these books. I don't know why. Um, I mean, if Ozai's in it, Iroh should be too. I want to know where is like Iroh at all. As a matter of fact, where's the White Lotus? Because they don't show up either at all. Um, and dancing, um, escorting, Nation, um Colonius. Back to the Fire Nation. Um, that's some pretty goofy. Yeah, um, Zuko changed his mind, the Colonials are going to head back to the Earth Kingdom. Um, <laughs> I'm reading, um, Top's Metal Bedding School. The Dark One. Uh, and he's my favorite of the three. Like, the Dark One is my favorite because he's just like, um, I just find him interesting. 
they they don't seem they don't like look like typical earth members like the buff like tough guys or buff like headstrong tomboys. I mean they look like normal people, which actually I find kind of interesting. Um, tough. All right, he chops jumps on Alpha and they're going off to UD. Um, and he manifests um earthy spirit. Um, talking to Roku, um, Roku basically says that, um, Aang should keep his promise to kill Zuko because he kind of made the same mistake in his life with Sozin, and because of that, the Hundred Year War was able to begin, um, so now we'll be in the Freedom Fighters and a bunch of other Earth King people protesting outside of UD, um, Aang shows up and flies. I find it kind of adorable how turn on Aang called each other sweetie. I find it really adorable. <laughs> um, yeah, Aang ties to Inspire Nation guys. Uh, yeah, that doesn't go as peaceful as he wants, so one of them fire burns at him. Um, doesn't hurt him at all. Um, he gets owned for pretty much all of his purposes. Um, he earth bends him and traps. Um, he gets attacked again and takes out like thirty guys with the help of the guitar and kills on fire. Um yeah. They take him out pretty easy. Um Yuko shows up and grabs Katara. Bang attacks Zuko. Zuko retaliates. Um, he goes into the outer start state and starts creating an air vortex and pretty much almost kills Zuko. Um, they get pretty funny. Um, being seen like UD citizens, Earth Kingdom, and Fire Nation um, working together. And they, I think this is just sword and they, it's some kind of a blade. Um, I never understand, like, we get a flashback, I set, like, three pages is, like, flashback of, um, Zuko's conversation with the mayor of UD and his wife, um, I mean, the earthbending scene could have usually just been flipped earlier in the book, um, I kind of found it unnecessary, just, like, really unnecessary, um, yeah, top earthbends were the protesters, um, they formed a plan, you and JDD. Well, the Green Fighters kind of. Um, <laughs> um, Zuko talks with May. Um, Kiyoshi Warriors show up to body bodyguard for Zuko. Um, he goes to talk to his father again, and that's the end of the book. Alright, then, so part one. Alright. Now my thoughts. I think we could have gotten a little bit more. I, like, I, like I said earlier, if they. I wish Ira was in this because he's not in either of them. Well, I'll, I'll end up to part two, but part one is not in it. Um, Paku Paku isn't in it. Boom is not in it. Um, none of the White Lotus are in it. Um, I kind of wish they were. Um, since this does take um, place a few years afterwards, I kind of wish that we got... I would say the beginnings of the Air Acolytes, but, I mean, we kind of do get that. They didn't, um, I'm gonna, I'm spoiling, I'm spoiling too much. Um, yeah, but I wish we got kind of like just like one or two individuals who are kind of following Aang who were air acolytes. Um, I'm really mad that Suki's not on the cover. It's because, like, the way I always see it, um, completed team avatar is Aang, Katara, Saka, Toph, Zuko, Suki, Aqua, and Nomo, like, all of them. I'm kind of mad she's not on either of these covers. Um, I mean, we do get to see her, but I kind of wish she was, like, I always felt that she was part of it. And yeah, so, I mean, it's a fun read. Definitely pick it up. It's, it says here it's um, $10.99. So, definitely pick it up. Um, Dark Horse. You can order it. I got it off, like, um, Barnes & Noble's at my local mall. That's where I got both of these, and hopefully I can get them. Um, 
part three. Part three is actually supposed to be was supposed to be released two days ago, but my bookstore, well, it's kind of like a, it's Barnes and Noble, it's a comic book slash bookstore. Yeah, they they are not getting it until the ninth of October, um, which is actually the release date in Canada. So, I mean, I I would order it off Amazon, but I kind of want to support the bookstore also and also get like the physical copies. And I don't really trust the internet that much to buy. Um, like books, like just like leisure books. Um, so, Promise Part One, definitely pick it up. It's really good. Um, next video, um, well, my next Promise video will be Part Two. Um, if you can see the cover, and Part Three, I'll hopefully have up. Um, um, I'll be uploading another video, um, a response video to a YouTuber. I won't tell you who, but I plan to upload uh, a response. All right, then. And then 24, signing off.